Welcome back to another video. So within my previous video, we have seen how we can learn Blender in real time with Google AI. I'm going to do the same over here for Katia. So let's share the screen. I will choose Katia. Okay, so how can I enter part design within Katia V5? Okay, you want to enter part design in KTIA V5. Yeah, tell me how I can do that. I see a start button over here. Okay, to enter part design, you can click on the start button located in the top left corner of the screen. Then, from the menu that opens, select mechanical design, and then click on part design. Would you like me to guide you through the next steps? Well, I've clicked on that. Now what? Okay, now that you've entered part design, a new window with an empty 3D space should have opened. Do you see the empty space? Mm, no. Can't you see what I'm looking at? So I have this new part, I can add a name. What can I do over here? Okay, it seems that the background is just a default view and that there is not an empty 3D space as we would expect. Let's try a different approach. Can you see the file option on the menu bar? Okay, so as you can see over here, with within Blender, this was a lot easier. Within Katia, the Google AI doesn't see this, so I'll just click OK. OK, I now enter part okay. design. OK, it looks like you've successfully entered part design. Now you should see the 3D space. Do you have any other questions about what you see? No, but I would like to know how can I create a cylinder? OK, to create a cylinder, you can first select one of the planes, such as X, Y, Y, Z, or Z, X, on the left-hand side of your screen. Then click the sketch button, which is the icon of a pencil drawing a line. After that, do you want to create a circle using the circle tool and then use the pad feature to make a cylinder from it? Okay, so I have the circle. I will add a radius of 50. Now, okay, you have drawn a... Okay, I will leave okay. the workbench. You have I'll drawn a... That. Okay, to leave the workbench, you should click on the Exit Workbench icon, which is located in the lower right part of the screen, below the 3D compass. It looks like a door with an arrow going through it. After you click okay. that, you should be... Okay, so I see the door with the arrow. Okay, that's quite an interesting approach to describe this. So I exit the workbench. Now, how can I define the cylinder? Okay, now that you've exited the workbench with the circle, you can use the pad feature to extrude it into a cylinder. The pad option is located on the right of the screen and looks like a blue cube with one white face. Would you like me to guide you through the next steps to define the cylinder? Yeah, guide me please. Okay, so now click the pad feature and a new window should appear. There you can adjust the height of the cylinder. Then click OK. Do you want to continue with any more features? Yeah, what would you consider to be an ideal length? So I can define uh, the cylinder over here. Okay, the ideal length for a cylinder really depends on its purpose. However, as a starting point, maybe try a length equal to the radius you already defined. In this case, that would be 50. Okay, so 50. Yeah, that's... Okay, now you can click OK. This will finalize your cylinder. After that, would you like to add more features to the cylinder? Um, no, but I would like to know how can I increase the length to be 100? I see that the cylinder is quite short. How can I do that? Okay, to change the length of the cylinder, you need to go back to the pad feature that you use to create it. It is in the specification tree on the left side of the screen. You can double click that and it will allow you to change the length, changing the length to 100. After that, click OK. Okay, Would you like to continue? Uh, I don't have the pad visible over here within the tree. What can I do to have that visible? Okay, it seems the specification tree is collapsed. To make the pad visible, click on the plus sign to the left of part body, then another plus sign to the left of geometrical set, and you should see the pad feature. Would you like me to guide you through the next steps from here? No, but in my case, I don't have a geometrical set. I just have the pad directly within the bar body. Why is that? 
Okay, it's not uncommon for the pad to be directly within the part body. It means that there isn't a geometrical set grouping it. To change the length of the cylinder, simply double click on the pad in the specification tree, and you should be able to modify the length in the pop-up window. Okay, I managed to do that. Great. Is there anything else you would like to do? Yeah, I'd like to know how can I create a geometrical set within my part body. Okay, to create a geometrical set, you can right click on the part body in the specification tree and then select insert and then geometrical set from the menu. Would you like me to walk you through the next steps? Um, yes, so I need to right click on what exactly on part one. So tell me, how can I add that geometrical set? You said that I need to right click on part one. Okay, so I see the AI has stopped working. So I will just clear this and start again. Okay, so I'm within this part, within Katia. How can I add a geometrical set to this part? I see you want to add a geometrical set to this part. Are you trying to create a new feature in your model? Yes. So how can I do that? Previously you said that I need okay. to right click on part. Where exactly? Okay, you were asking where to right click on the part. It looks like you have already selected the part in the design tree. Now you can right click on that part and the menu will appear. Do you need any further help? Yes, because I have the menu, but I don't see any geometrical set over here. Okay, so you have the menu, but you don't see the geometrical set option. Are you able to scroll through the menu options? It is possible that the geometrical set may be located lower in the menu. Hmm, no, it isn't. Okay, it seems that the geometrical set option is not available in the right-click menu for the part. Yeah. I think you might need to... Okay, so it looks like the geometrical set option is not available in the right-click menu on the part directly. To add a geometrical set, you can try to go to the insert menu at the top of the screen. Do you see that? Yeah, and now we're talking. So I went to insert and I can add a geometrical set. Okay, Great, now... you found the insert menu. Now, can you confirm if you see an option to add a geometrical set from that menu? Yeah, if I so, click, you I should click, be able to add... I click on that, but now I have a pop-up. Okay. I have an insert geometrical set, a name, a father, and a feature. What exactly is the father? Okay, so it seems that you have opened the insert geometrical set dialog box, and you are wondering about the father field. In this context, the father refers to the parent object in the feature tree that will contain the new geometrical set. It will define the hierarchy in which the new geometrical set is placed in your design. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. I just named the geometrical set GeoSet and I clicked OK. OK, so you named the geometrical set and clicked OK. Is the geometrical set now visible in your design tree? Yeah, it's fine. Great. It looks like you have successfully added the geometrical set. Is there anything else I can help you with at the moment? Yeah, I would like to know how I can do a hole cutout within the cylinder. Okay, so now you're looking to create a hole cut out within the cylinder. Yeah. Would you like to do this using a sketch or by using another method? What would be another method? So tell me about that. Okay. Another method you could use is the hole feature. This feature allows you to create different types of holes, such as simple, tapered, counterboard, countersunk, and counter-drilled holes. Do you think you would like to use this method? Yeah, it is easier than using a sketch or more complicated. Okay, so it seems that you prefer using the hole feature as it is easier than using a sketch. Would you like me to guide you through using the hole feature? Yeah, please tell me. Okay, let's start with the hole feature. First, you'll need to select the face of the cylinder where you would like the hole to be placed. Then, select the hole icon. Are you able to locate the hole icon in the software? Yes, so I need to select the face. 
Yes, you've got it. Once you select the face, the hole dialog box will appear, where you can define the type and dimensions of the hole. Would you like me to continue guiding you through this process? Or would you like to explore? The current in work object isn't in body. What is this? Okay, it looks like the current in work object isn't the body. This means that you are probably working in the geometrical set. To make your hole cut in the body, you must select the part body in the tree before selecting the hole tool. Does that make sense? Yeah, well, I selected that and now I click on hole, but I still have this working. How can I work around this? Okay, it seems you're still encountering a warning even after selecting the part body. It is possible that this warning is related to the selection of the face of the cylinder. Could you try deselecting and reselecting the cylinder face? Mm. Sometimes this... No, 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 it's, it's not that. So. This is why Google AI doesn't work for Katia. Because for Blender, it had a lot of information. But over here, this is quite easy. So I just need to right-click define a work object. And now I can create that hole. I can select it and I can um, work with this. So I'm really curious, what's your opinion regarding this? Because as we can see, we cannot use Google AI yet to learn Katia, but we can use it for Blender. So let me know what is your opinion regarding this. I will add a similar video on the left side, and I will also add a subscribe button to the right. So that's it. Thanks for watching.